Hi guys, it's Nancy with Nancy's Nibbles of Life and boy do I have a huge shopping haul for you today from Smart and Final. I outdid myself. Look at this freaking receipt. That's a long receipt. The cashier rang my groceries up and had the nerve to say $191.60. Oh, you know, the only good thing I could say about it is that at Smart and Final, you get bulk items. So there's lots of food here. It'll take us a long time to go through it. So let's get into these groceries because, again, it's a pretty long haul. So welcome to my Smart and Final Mega Food Haul. Okay guys, so what I think I want to do is start with produce. Um, as you know, vegetables are zero points on Weight Watchers. And so I always buy tons of produce because it's a way to bulk up my food. I try to eat lean proteins and tons of vegetables and minimize my carbs, especially at dinner. It's just, I think it helps go, it helps to go a long way on the scale the next day when you step on it. So I'll give you the point values to some of these foods, some I don't have. And uh, if I think it was an especially good deal on an item, I'll call out the price for that item. So here we go from Smart and Final. I'll start with the produce. I picked up some tomatillo. I love tomatillos. I love making tacos. I mentioned once before that I was the taco queen. <laughs> And so I have some tomatillos here and uh, I'll be making some salsa later on in this week. If you're interested in the salsa recipe with the tomatillos, let me know. I'm happy to share. I got some brown onion. Also that goes in that salsa. And uh, in this same uh, bag, I picked up some lime. All right, so I picked up more green onions. I love the green onions. Uh, I picked up two bunches. There were two for a dollar. Uh, I picked up two bunches. I love green onions. I put them in everything. My eggs in the morning. Uh, for dinner, uh, I will garnish on top with the green onions. Okay, another produce that I picked up, bok choy. I love bok choy. It's basically a delicate cabbage. So if you love cabbage, you will love bok choy. Pick this up. You can saute it. It goes beautiful in stir fries. And um, it's a lovely addition to your meals uh, if you just are looking to round out some green vegetables. Try the bok choy in place of something like your kale or your spinach. All right, speaking of greens, I picked up some turnip, turnip greens. Do you guys love turnip greens? I love turnip greens. I love the kale and I love the collard greens as well. But turnips have a distinct taste to them. And to me, if I'm gonna eat greens, I wanna, you know, eat them. I wanna know that I'm eating them and I don't want a mild flavor. I want that nice, funky, almost turnip green flavor. <laughs> so I got some turnip greens. I think I have some smoked turkey in the freezer that I'll use with, with those greens. I even have some uh, frozen pork belly that I could use in there as well. Okay, I got some cilantro. Uh, you know, cilantros work well with everything, including those uh, tacos that I mentioned. I got some green apples. I got some chiquita bananas. And I got some a baby spring mix. All right. And of course, I got some broccoli crowns. Broccoli's such an easy produce to put together it in the evening. And look, that's a beautiful crown. Pick that up from Smart and Final. So, uh, such an easy produce to add to your evening meal. All right, another item that I picked up produce-wise are these Persian cucumber. So, Persian cucumbers to me, again, have a more pronounced, distinct flavor than the larger cucumbers or even 
the seedless cucumber that you find wrapped in uh, plastic. I think those are called English cucumbers. But the Persian, it just, it's so distinct, the, the taste of the cucumbers. I love the Persian cucumber. If you haven't tried that, go ahead and try it. Okay, so let's get, let's continue on. Another thing that I picked up were these Mission Thin Corn Tortillas. So, um, you know, I love tortillas, of course. Uh, I guess I'm on this taco kick now, right? I've picked up the salsa items, now I'm on to the tortillas. But the extra thin tortillas save you a few points. So a serving size here is, is three tortillas. I'm gonna scan this really quickly on my app so that you could see what I mean. Uh, here we go. All right, so four points for three of these tortillas. And I believe that the normal corn tortillas are two points for three. So you get three for four on the thin ones. So, you know, good deal, point wise deal. All right, uh, I also picked up some oven roasted white turkey. This is the Foster Farms, and this is a huge pack of turkey. And uh, I scanned this in the store, and it's one point for two slices. So again, it's the Foster Farms oven roasted white turkey, uh, one point for two slices. And these slices are kind of thick. I don't know if you can see. So, you know, we all eat turkey, right, in our wraps during the day. Okay, so then I got something, uh, let's see, kind of fun, which are these chicken biscuits. <laughs> I love a good snack, don't you? Especially something that uh, is kind of uh, nostalgic, like a chicken biscuit cracker. So these are 12 crackers for five points. So it's certainly a treat when you wanna treat yourself. And you know, you could even eat this alongside your wrap because the chips that I eat normally are around five points. So these biscuits are 12 for five. All right, you know what? I got some popcorn because I got a recent little popper uh, from Amazon that I purchased that I'll throw in the microwave and pop my own popcorn rather than the individual microwave popcorns. It's two tablespoons of popcorn for two points. So that's, you know, less points than anything you'd find in the uh, cellophane wrapped microwave popcorn. So pop your own popcorn and save some points. Okay, moving on. I'm trying to do this quickly so this video is in 30 minutes. All right, Boathouse dressings. We all love these. These were not the greatest price over at Smart and Final, $3.99 a piece. Um, but anyway, I got the Yogurt um, Ranch, the classic, and I got Honey Barbecue Ranch. I've never seen the hard Honey Barbecue Ranch, so I am interested in how it tastes. And uh, same 45 calories. Uh, let's let's do the points real quick for the honey barbecue boathouse uh, I'm interested in that and seeing how much that is because I love anything with barbecue sauce um, Okay, let's see I got to figure this out Okay There we go two points So two tablespoons for two points same as the ranch, okay? Now, let's see, what else did I pick up? I got some canned corn, I love corn. I also got some frozen corn and some frozen green beans. So these are just, you know, great to, during the week, just pop that can open and throw it in your pot. Same with the uh, frozen vegetables. Um, I love the taste of fresh garlic chopped up, but sometimes I don't have time for that. So I got some minced garlic. I also picked up some Louisiana fish fry coating mix. I have cornmeal and if I'm gonna fry fish this, this uh, past week, I did some in the air fryer and I used cornmeal, but I missed the seasoned cornmeal mix that some, sometimes I use, so I picked this up today. I also, speaking of uh, kind of like fried fish going that Louisiana route, I picked up some fresh Creole seasoning. I have some of this, but I've had it for like two years. 
I'm sure it's not fresh, so I'm gonna toss that and replace it with some fresh seasoning. Trying to get away from so much salt when I season food, and so trying different seasonings, I, I hope to be helpful um, and can reduce, like I said, some salt. Speaking of salt, <laughs> I love dill relish. So, you know, I recently discovered that dill relish is zero points while the sweet relish will cost you a couple of points. So I don't think I knew that. I was just picking up whatever relish that I saw to go on our burgers or our hot dogs. And, uh, you know, one day decided to scan it and discovered that the sweet actually costs you a couple of points while the deal does not. So I'll always make it a point to pick up the deal. And you know what, you can make a lot of things out of regular deal relish. For example, you can make you a tartar sauce by mixing you another item that I picked up. I got some light mayo, which by the way, if you mix it with that dill uh, relish, you can make you a quick tartar sauce with some green onion. Green onion, dill, light mayo, you can get you, like I said, uh, a quick little tartar sauce. So the uh, light mayo is, um, I believe, one tablespoon for one point. One tablespoon, one point, because it's per serving. All right, so I picked up some, I can't believe it's not butter light. Love this stuff, one point for one tablespoon. Some grape tomatoes. I should have had this over with my produce, but technically it's a fruit. So you know those are zero points. Now, one thing that I do like about Smart and Fino, I had some gripes with Smart and Fino. I'll talk to you about that in a little bit. But one of the things that I do like about Smart and Fino is that you could buy bulk items. So I picked up this bacon and we love bacon. We have it, you know, maybe every other morning, but it's a family pack. So it's double. And this pack of bacon was $10. So $10, you, bacon is routinely $8.99, $7.99 at the grocery store. So two, two, um or five each so ten so ten dollars for that pack you can't pass up those kind of deals when you see them okay i got did i show you the velveta cheese of course we know this is one point per slice velveta cheese good stuff right these go in our wraps um our burgers i got me some mushroom again maybe should have been over here with the produce <laughs> uh now this is something that's kind of high in points and I will show you what I mean. But it's one of those things where it's just so easy sometimes to do as a side dish. Yeah, see, for two thirds of a cup, it's seven points. This is the Knorr uh, sides, uh, pasta sides, seven points for this. Um, it's good, I like it, it's pretty yummy. Um, and it is a little high in salt, so you gotta watch that. It's pretty high in sodium. But for a quick little side, my husband likes it. Uh, he's one of these guys that can eat any and everything and be okay. So sometimes I like to serve this up as a side dish at night. So I got one of those. All right. We were out of coffee creamer, so I picked up this French vanilla fat-free creamer. I'm, I've decided to be a little more careful about the creamers in my coffee because I'm a little heavy handed and I'm, I bet you that it sometimes is derailing my progress in the week. So I'm gonna try to measure out and use the least amount of points uh, for my coffees in the morning. That's why I was happy to see that this hat, um, it, that it was fat free. So I'll be trying this. I'll let you know what I think about it because sometimes when I do my cooking videos i'll have a coffee and we can talk about it then okay zero points for these ice sparklers or uh i'm sure you've seen these before sparkling ice the coconut and the fruit punch delish you got to try these flavors if you haven't my goodness they are so good they really do feel like you are drinking fanta or something full sugar. It's, they're just so good. Um, the pineapple is tart and sweet, can't beat it. They had some uh, eggs on sale for 99 cents a dozen, so I picked up two of these over at Smart and Fino. I got some chicken broth. You can always uh, use chicken broth in your recipes 
and uh, for zero points. Okay, let's see what else. My husband loves this Minute Maid Fruit Punch. Got him some of that. I don't drink the stuff. Too much sugar for me. But like I said, my husband, by the way, hopefully one day he'll get the nerve to come on camera. But he's 6'6". Six, six. He's just over maybe 225 or 30 pounds. And he can eat anything he wants and never affects him. The man eats a dessert every night. It drives me nuts. But anyway, so that's his punch. I don't drink that. Okay, now I love to put these uh, on the breakfast table sometimes in the morning, especially on the weekend. They are a good little treat. But they're six points a muffin if you use the recipe. And um, I think you make six muffins, so six points. But on the weekend, treat's pretty good. It's the Jiffy. These are uh, Jiffy Banana and Jiffy Blueberry. So they're so cost effective. They're like $1.25 for really good, yummy muffins for your family. So six points a muffin, you make them at home. You could save you a few points by using maybe some fat-free milk. Um, but it just requires milk and an egg and Presto changeo, you got you some breakfast muffins for your family to impress over the weekend. For, you know, pretty cheap, $1.25, you can't beat that. Okay, so I think it's time to move on to the meat that I picked up. Um, oh, did I show you the coffee creamer for my husband? He likes this powdered stuff. Um, I used to like the powdered stuff, and sometimes I'll still have it for a point. Um, it's not bad, so um, that's always a good deal over at Smart and Final. In fact, it was $1.97. And this is a 22 ounce bottle, so you can't really beat that. Okay, so I am always looking for some salmon when I shop for zero points for salmon. You can't beat it, I love salmon. Um, this was on sale for $8.99 a pound, zero points as you know on blue, I'm on blue, so I'm always buying salmon. So. I picked up some 93.7 ground beef as well. And um, this is, uh, it was on sale for $5.99 a pound, so that's not bad. Now, let me ask you guys this. Let me pick up my receipt, hold on. Okay, I watch um, a YouTube personality. Her name's Amanda. I'll put her uh, Instagram below and her YouTube channel as well. And she accidentally bought an 80-20 ground beef and uh, was kind of mortified and, and was talking to her mother about it. And her mother said, why don't you just rinse the beef after you cook it? And that'll save you on some points. You could rinse the beef, rinse the fat off the ground beef, and then count it as a lean beef rather than that fatty 80-20. I'd never heard of that before, had you? But it works. I have the same problem. My husband buys the 80-20 all the time, drives me nuts. This week I didn't care. I cooked the, the ground beef and rinsed it and counted it as a lean uh, ground beef and lost a little weight that week. So if you want to try it, give it a try, but I'd never heard of it before. Okay, here is a pork tenderloin that I picked up as well. So this was for $2.99 a pound. So you can't beat it. I paid $5.74 for this uh, almost two pound tenderloin. And the pork tenderloin, by the way, is the lowest point for pork that you're gonna see. I believe it's a point an ounce. So if you get you a nice three or four um, ounce piece of meat, which is plenty, three or four points for your dinner, put you a nice little sauce and a vegetable, you got a low point dinner. Okay, this is not so low in points, but we love them. <laughs> Picked up a ribeye. Beef is so expensive, you know. Um, this ribeye is almost a pound and a quarter. It's just a little bit over a pound and a quarter in size, and it's just enough for me and Aaron. We'll share that. That's my husband, Aaron. Okay, let's see. What else? I found some Italian uh, seasoned ground turkey that is, uh, it was reduced. So $2.24 for this pack. And, um, you know, I, I, if you look at the date, make sure the date's okay. I don't see anything wrong with picking up those reduced price items, of course. Um, so Italian seasoned ground turkey, I'll probably 
throw this in a pasta sauce with some noodles or make some meatballs out of them. So that'll be good. And then I also got some turkey, some um, Ginny O turkey patties for turkey burgers. We love burger night around here. So it's always good to get those. Now I can, let me, let me ring up the points for the turkey burgers because I'm always a little surprised about them. Um, I think they're going to be less in points because they're turkey and, um, Sometimes I like I said, I'm a little surprised at the points for the turkey. So let's see uh, let's Scan this Oh three points for the patty. That's not bad three points for one patty and it's the 93 7 Okay, so 7% fat on that Genio turkey patty. So I'm, I'm going to chow down on that. All right, let's see here. What do I have in front of me? Remember I bought that popcorn because I said I bought a popper? Well, I found this popcorn flavoring. I hope this doesn't get me in trouble. <laughs> but it says zero calories and zero fat, and it's a flavoring for my popcorn and I saw this on um, Amazon and while I was at the grocery store I saw it as well and I picked it up and I thought I'm gonna try it and it's actually um, salt so it's popcorn salt so I'll sprinkle a little bit over my um, it's flavored salt by the way over my popcorn and they say that it tastes just like movie popcorn salt so I'm interested to try that. All right, moving on. Okay, let's see, what else do I have in front of me? Some diced tomatoes, zero points. You know, this is the base for tons of recipes that I make here at home. Make sure you always have some of these in your uh, pantry. Uh, I love Don Francisco's coffee. It is a um, value coffee. It's not as pricely as some of the other um, like Dunkin Donuts or Starbucks coffee in the grocery store um, but it's a rich yummy flavor and I especially love this hazelnut uh, flavor the Hawaiian hazelnut so good it's always around five dollars um, a can so I always pick up some of that um, when we're out of the flavored coffees because I do love those in fact I might make me a little iced coffee tonight Okay, let's see. More meat. Let me go on. Let me continue with my meat. I got some split chicken breast with ribs. Zero points for the breast. Just pull off that skin. Um, that those were two oh nine a pound. So six dollars and seventy seven cents for this pack of four. Okay, now one of my favorite things. Um, and if you've watched my channel before, you know this, but I love dark meat. Um, chicken dark meat chicken and I got this chicken leg quarters and guess what these things were on sale for 89 cents a pound so there are four humongous leg quarters in here and this pack only cost me three dollars and 72 cents that's what I'm talking about I love that okay let me see did I miss anything oh I got some red potatoes here uh, I didn't show you that. I got some that escaped from my produce, but I got some red potatoes. I love red potatoes. Don't cost you a lot in points. I believe a half a cup is two points. And if you use some fat-free milk, you know, you got you some good little mashed potatoes for two or three points at night. And um, keep the skin on because that's where all the nutrition is. Okay, let's see. Now, one final thing. Um, was dinner tonight. I got me a whole roasted chicken and it was $6.99 over at Smart and Final. So look at that. It sure looked good and it sure smelled good. So my husband will be a little surprised because we had chicken last night, but we're going to have it again tonight. <laughs> $1.90 is pretty expensive for these groceries, but like I said, I think that they'll it'll take us a little while to get through them. You know, I said that I had a little gripe about Smart and Final, and the gripe is that they didn't have many like trending or 
um, I would say seasonal items. Like I couldn't find any real pumpkin kind of items uh, that I wanted. I was looking for in particular um, some coffee, the maple coffee from Starbucks. They have a maple flavor right now that everyone has been raving about. And so I looked for that, they didn't have that. They also didn't have many low fat choices when it came to things like cheese and dairy. You know, they had some, but not a big variety. So um, I, I was fine in terms of what I needed kind of uh, immediately because we were running low on a lot of things. But um, I don't think that they had the latest and greatest in terms of groceries. So uh, I may not rush to get back to Smart and Final, but I do think that we got tons of food here. Oh, garlic powder. I picked up some garlic powder. Oh, and Mio. I oh, I talked about this at the beginning. I think. I love the Mio. It flavors my water. And I got, some, of course, some, some Cascade for my dishwasher. But back to what I was saying, you know, it's nice every now and again to go there, but I don't think it's going to be my go-to grocery store because I really wish they had more up-to-date trending items. So that's it for me today guys do you have a smart final in your neighborhood um do you think of it for um everyday grocery shopping or is it more for like if you're planning a party since they do sell in such bulk items it's awesome for that kind of stuff well let me know in the comments and i hope that you enjoyed this uh grocery haul if you have any questions about the points for anything just send me um a comment and I'll, I'll respond to it. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. And uh, just hit that little button below. Um, and please uh, like and leave me a comment. Uh, it really helps uh, to support my channel and I can bring you uh, more Weight Watchers content. Okay, so I'll see you on the next video. Thanks guys, bye.